what the hell is this XZ backdoor issue that has recently cropped up on the internet and set it ablaze? Well, lucky for you, you're here. We're going to cover it in this video. So stay tuned and thank you for liking and subscribing my video. We'll see you soon. All right, so let's just jump right into what's going on. This probably, by most counts, would be considered an advanced um, software uh, supply chain attack. On March 29th, we had a researcher that put out their findings with regards to some issues that the researcher was having with the XZ slash lib LZMA library. And XZ is a compression utility similar to uh, basically making zip files, if you want to think of it that way. And its main use is in lossless compression for, well, let's say like command line utilities, and that it guarantees when it is uncompressed, the result is going to be a byte for byte clone of that original data. And so it's used with important security, software, and libraries, and etc. And what had happened here, um, for most accounts, is there was an individual that was able to social engineer their way into obtaining uh, maintainer status for this OSS repository. So the Tucani project was the organization that currently holds the official XC utils uh, Git repository. This person, uh, threat actor we'll call them, uh, Gia Tan, ended up um, being able to get maintainer status, and maybe through social engineering or for whatever purposes, but that person was able to get the power to make commits, code changes to this XZ utils Git repository. And long story short, the researcher was having issues. Um, as we're going to see, what had cropped up was that the person was noticing time differences with logins via SSH and that they became a lot slower before and after. And so with the backdoor lib LZMA installed, that person was starting to see time differences between what they would normally see, which actually is quite astounding just to pick up that minute of a difference and to think that maybe something was a lot slower. But yes, on, on a time factor, it is very much a lot slower. And so what we found and what is ended up happening is that there was going to be this impact and it was going to be the portion is within distributed tarballs upstream you're going to see a lot of this and i'll link to uh, the researchers findings in the description but there's a lot of obfuscated bash code um, what we're ended up seeing is that the real trouble comes into the some files that were committed in the tests directory in the git repository for this and that was a while back um, but they had committed this which then gets de-obfuscated or gets this is what ends up getting produced with regards to uh, this file which then leads us to this file, uh, good dash large compressed dot LZMA. And the obfuscation then leads, and it's into the attached um, uh, TXT file that you can find uh, down here at the bottom, which we'll quickly jump into, but not to belabor the point, what's actually happening and what's very interesting is that the back door is meant to intercept the um, it, this basically this RSA 
cryptography function and will basically says no 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 if the hook gets called on the RSA uh, public decrypt when it's called the backdoor value actually changes the value of the public decrypt to point to its own code which is basically providing remote code execution now here in a further um, video uh, we're going to discuss dive into reverse engineer that actual bad code and to get an idea of what's going on but at the end of the day what we're really seeing out there is that this and from all intents and purposes we're seeing it as it's just something that had transpired for a long time the threat actor got involved I mean but even back in 2022 December of 2022 this person Gia Tan was emailing other individuals to basically improve their standing in the community uh, to maybe be able to push these merge uh, merges and get this into the distributions main distributions a lot quicker and so this is just an example of something that has to be seen as a software supply chain attack anyways I hope you uh, enjoyed this video this was just a quick summary of what's going on and we'll be digging into this further down the road and thank you very much